Well, hey guys, what's up? It's Y, one and only AR Legends. And yeah, guys, today I am back with the, with another series, which is gonna be what if Naruto was abandoned by his family and had the powers of Shinigami. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy this series as I wanted to do this series for a really, really long time. And now I have, you can say, decided to make the first part of it and hopefully you guys will like it. But before starting this video, I would like to make a request to all of you guys who are watching this video. If you guys are new to this channel and if you guys have not subscribed yet, please guys do so. It will help me a lot as I want to reach 12k as quick as possible and it will help me a lot as I'm quite near to 12k. So please guys subscribe to my channel and as for the next part, the like goal is gonna be, let's see about it. 350 likes and 220 comments do that and I shall upload the next part as quick as possible who knows it could be even today well and I have also put the link of my Instagram within the description below so please follow me on Instagram so without any further ado let's start the video as I'm gonna start my video of Naruto as Naruto was angry he was you can say running towards the training ground 7 he has just asked Kakashi for the training because he wanted to train and become strong enough to defeat Nechi in the finals. After all, he has cleared the second part of the Chunin exam as well as the preliminary exams. But it seemed that Kakashi has other plans, saying that how he wanted to train Sasuke and left him with Abisu as Naruto was angry about it. As he finally arrived within the training grounds, he was feeling off for previous days, especially within the preliminary exams. His body was reacting strangely, as if you can say something was off about him, as, if, as well as he was hearing some whispers in his head. Previously, Naruto thought that it was QB, but it was not him when Naruto confronted him in his mindscape, as QB was a bit confused what Naruto was actually talking about, though he did not say anything much about it, saying that he did not talk with him, as this was the first time Naruto actually met face to face with a QB, but still, QB rejected him, saying that how he was not whispering in his head and he might be going senile, but Naruto simply shook his head. As Naruto was training but then suddenly he felt once again his body suddenly surrounded by an aura while inside of the you can say cage Kyuubi's eyes shot open as Naruto's eyes started to change into pure you can say silver as his whole body got limp as Kyuubi's eyes shot open as he started to look around this presence it was strange no it simply cannot be he has only felt this presence few times in his life as he took a step back in utter fear as Naruto started to move limply but then he started to run and started to move in the abandoned area of the hole Konoha where not many people actually go while inside of the cage as QB was scared for his life something was off this presence is simply was not possible as he has felt this presence last time 12 years ago when that damn monkey Minato as he growled by thinking about that man who sealed him away as when he summoned him as he thought in his mind but he looked towards his host who has already lost all control of his body as Naruto has finally arrived within the abandoned area as QB decided to use all of his power to you can say at least get a glimpse of the outside world and he was able to do so this was the abandoned Uzumaki temple as he saw that his host was walking inside of it, suddenly the door opened of the whole shrine as Naruto was still blinking and coming inside of it as QB was pretty surprised and wondering what was actually going on here. He has only one theory in his mind and that was not a good thing for him as he started to look around the darkness was still inside the mindscape and just a silver light was shining the doors were shining with silver light especially the seal as, she, as QB took a step back as he looked towards the seal which was shining all over the place as this means only one thing after all this seal was made with the help of one person and he did not want it to face him and why and how is this even possible as Naruto finally arrived suddenly the whole area lit up with fire as a single mask was floating within the air as Naruto grabbed the mask and put it on his you can say face as QB was shocked he knew that what, what that mask is all about as he suddenly took a step back when light started to shine even more within the mindscape and just like that as Naruto you can say stumbled back his the mask finally hit the ground as it was shining as Naruto took a step back as he blinked all around the place wondering where he actually was not remembering what actually happened after all last thing he remembered his body was reacting strangely as well as you can say 
he was training within the training ground seven since he did not have any sensei to train him. As Naruto looked around as he saw this scary looking mask which was shining over the, you can say, within the mid air as Naruto took a step back with a bit of fear. After all, he's quite scared of the ghost but then suddenly the mask started to break and light started to engulf it even more and just like that a blinding light covered the area while inside of the cage as QB was at utter shock as he was not expecting to see this guy ever in his life if it actually could be helped but now he was scared he was really really scared as Naruto was simply looking towards it at utter shock as he took a step back as a ghostly figure no a monstrous figure was standing in front of him his white long hair covering his face too you can say horn on his face and scary looking body as Naruto was pretty scared, frozen at his spot, wondering what is actually going on here. Suddenly, the figure finally eyes finally opened and started to look around as he said, Hmm, well, it seems that I have finally been able to do that, huh? Again, huh, well, interesting. As he started to look around, as his eyes finally met with Naruto, as he smirked at that, the dagger on his, you can say, mouth, finally, he removed it as you can say putting his tongue over it as Naruto took a step back in utter fear as you can say the ghostly figure looked towards Naruto as he chuckled at that hmm I remember you after all you're the little kid which I used my power to seal away that false demon inside of you huh well interesting day it was huh even though I was cheated out of my prize as he growled at that but it seemed I have been finally been able to come to this dimension once again interesting as he started to look around as he said hmm. so as he looked towards Naruto as Naruto was pretty scared at this point but Naruto gulped a little as he said who who are you as he took a step back as you can say the figure started to chuckle as he said well I have many names within the history but why don't you ask your tenant for it as you can say while inside of the QB mind as QB started to speak Naruto I do not care what you do do not I mean absolutely do not anger him he's someone you simply cannot face he's the Shinigami the god of death as Naruto took a step back in utter fear he could you can say hear the voice of the you can say the QB inside of his head Shinigami he has only heard stories about it he never thought it to be real as Naruto took a step back as he muttered a single word Shinigami as you can say the figure looked towards him for some time as then it burst into laughter as he said huh, well the few foolish name these humans gave me huh, Shinigami you say the god of death well if I'm not mistaken these foolish humans thought that I was the god of death and since I deal with souls, ah uh, well, actually took their souls. So they thought that I was the god of death in this dimension. Huh, pretty interesting. As Naruto took a step back. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? And why are you here? Why am I here? As he looked around, as you can say, the person simply looked towards Naruto as he said, hmm, well, human, let, us pu let me put it simply. Long ago, your as he simply scoffed, a human summoned me in this dimension because he wanted my services and for that he was willing to give me his soul. So he wanted me to seal away QB inside of three children. You were one of them. But he cheated me. He cheated me out of my prize. He tricked me using a shadow clone inside of himself. He, you can say, he took my services which I made by sealing away the QB inside of his three children but he tricked me by switching with the shadow clone just when I was about to take his soul but since the deed was done and I had to leave this dimension after my work was done I was unable to do anything to him but that does not mean that I will have my revenge as he looked towards Naruto and since you were the, you were the one who had sealed away the biggest part of the sealing, the soul, which will gradually recover the power of the false demon. So therefore, you were you was the one whose seal I made the strongest because when the QB would regain all of his power, your seal would need to be strong enough. And that was my purpose, but was to summon here. 
hand. Since you had the strongest piece of my power, I was able to control you for a smallest amount of time and bring you here so that you can summon me by using the mask of the Uzumakis as Naruto blink a little as he was processing all of this data. What is this guy talking about? His father, three children, he was the only. He was the only Jinchuriki, right? And what was this guy talking about? As you can say, the figure looked towards Naruto as he said, hmm, it seems that you do not have the knowledge what actually happened, huh? As his eyes met with Naruto, as his eyes glowed for a single moment, but then he started to burst into laughter as he said, huh, well, so this is what actually happened, huh? They abandon you here so that they can train the other two, thinking that their power which they have is permanent and it will never end. So they thought that you are useless having only the soul while the other kids having the power of the biju. So they left you here to rot in this village and took, their, took themselves as well as their children to train them to become stronger. Is that it, huh? As Naruto was taken aback from it, as the figure simply chuckled, as I said, let me put it simple, simply human. You are the son of this so-called fourth Hokage. He had triplets at that night, at that night, but he decided to seal away the soul of the QB inside of you and sealing away the power inside of his other two children and taking them away to train them and leaving you here so that if this so-called village could have its Jinchuriki and people could get rid of their anger by using you as a scapegoat. So that's your life story, huh? <laughs> well, typical humans. As Naruto was taken aback from it, as he could not believe it. How is this even possible? The fourth, he was his idol. It, it simply cannot be. As he looked inside of his mind, QB, is that true? As QB was silent for some time, but nodded nonetheless. Yes, it is true. As Naruto was finally taken aback from it all, how is this even possible? He was going through as, but the figure simply, simply chuckled. I do not have a lot of time, human. I want to do something. I want to have my revenge regardless what actually happened to me because that is the only thing I want now. As Naruto looked towards him, what do you want from me? Why did you summon me here? He was angry now. He has just heard that how his parents has abandoned him and not only that, leave him here as a scapegoat so that the villagers could actually beat him. Now he understood it all as the, you can say the figure looked towards him. Hmm. Do you know who I am, kid? As Naruto looked towards him, you said that you're not the Shinigami, so what are you? As as the figure simply chuckled, you humans are so arrogant. Did you honestly believe that? Few hand signs and bit of chakra and you can summon a god within the mortal plane. Did you honestly believe that? Huh? The arrogant of your so-called leaders thinking that they can actually get away with something like that. Huh? Foolish. If there is a god, did you honestly believe that he would be able to be summoned here in a mortal small planet and on top of that with only few hand signs and bit of chakra and a sacrifice for the soul, the very soul which he created himself. Huh. I'm no god, brat. You can call me a demon, a demon from the demonic realm, pretty powerful one if I must say, but he, was, he tricked me and now as you can see the figure simply looked towards his hand which was shaking a little. I am paying the price for it. I have broken a law of the demon world and soon enough I shall perish from very existence. As Naruto was taken aback from it all. As he said, what do you mean by that? As you can see the figure simply looked towards him. We are, I am a demon, pretty high power demon from the demonic world. We have a law. We simply cannot enter into the mortal realm just like that. No, it is not possible for us, though it is possible for us to enter into this plane by using a medium. If someone were to, you can say, summon us just like your father did for a prodigal deed. But for that, we need the soul as a sacrifice, as a prize. But when your father tricked me, I did the deed for free, which means that I broke the law and my powers are not reacting to it. I broke it and now I do not have the sacrifice soon enough, my powers will fade away. I was trying to enter into this realm for a long time, but it seemed that my powers were not reacting that much because of the seal. But someone tampered with my work that gave me an opportunity and an option to enter into this realm by seeing that someone has tampered with my work. So 
I was able to find a loophole to control me through my work and summon myself here. Simple as that, human. I want to give you something. You see, my dad, my death is inevitable at this point. I have gone through multiple universes, multiple realities and things like that. But still, I want to have my revenge on that damn Namakaze who tricked me. And for that, my existence that has been going on for millennia, for thousands of years has come to an end. But I will not die without having my revenge. So I'm here to give you an offer. After I will, you can say, end my summoning, I will cease to exist. But before that, I want to give you training, my knowledge, my powers for a single purpose. That is to destroy the Namakaze regardless what it actually took. As Naruto take a step back at that, he never thought that it will ever happen. Something like this will ever happen to him. At a moment, he was, you can say, just angry that his sensei was showing favoritism. And next moment, he has find out that how his own family has rejected him, leaving him here as a scapegoat. And now the person who he, as well as his father and QB itself thought was a Shinigami, was now offering him all of his powers to him, claiming that how he's not a god of that or something like that. And to be honest, when not to think about it, it was pretty really arrogant of someone to think that just because they can, you can say, make some hand signs and use a bit of chakra and the very soul which the god had created, they can use it too as a sacrifice to summon him. But he simply shook his head. That was not his point at the moment. As he looked towards him while inside of the cage, as QB was thinking about it, this could be a perfect opportunity. By doing this, his soul, you can say, his host will have the ultimate power, the power of someone who can actually manhandle him. If he so desire, if this so-called demon is not the Shinigami, well, it will not change much about it. The power of this demon is far stronger than QB. Hell, it is even stronger than the Jubi. So, it is pretty great of an opportunity. As I look towards Naruto, as I speak of Naruto, just accept the offer. As Naruto was taken aback from it, QB, what are you talking about? As QB speak up, trust me, Naruto, this guy has a lot more power than me, as well as all of my brothers, all of the Bijus combined. The power this guy possess is enormous and the knowledge he shall have will be that of millennia, thousands of years. Just think about it, how strong you could actually be. As Naruto was taken aback from it, but he do not want to become strong in that manner. Stupid human, so why do you think that? Why do you use my power? It is a gift to you. You will become that power. Just accept it because I don't think that this guy will like it if you reject his offer. I'm pretty sure that he will kill you just because you will not accept it. Just look towards him. You do not have much choice, Naruto. As Naruto look towards the Soka Shinigami and to be honest, he could feel in the eyes of that guy. He will kill him without the second thought. If Naruto were to reject his offer, as Naruto gulp a little but nodded as he said, alright then, I will accept your offer, I will have your powers, your knowledge and in return I shall kill Minato Namakaze as Naruto grated his teeth and clenched his face no matter what, he will have his revenge as the Shinigami, well the so called Shinigami simply smirk at that as he said, well then, well then human. You shall have my powers, my knowledge, all of the techniques as well as you can say all of the souls I have been able to gather within millennia. I may not be the god of death but I have many abilities similar to that of death because I am associated with death so much. You will have so many abilities. Trust me kid, you are gonna become so overpowered within time. But it's about time, my existence is already coming to an end. These 12 years, I was barely able to sustain myself because I wanted one thing above it all. I wanted my revenge and I will have it through you. As he looked towards Naruto and then he smirked. As his body started to, you can say, change into small light particles. As Naruto was suddenly engulfed by all of these particles and started to surround him. As Naruto simply looked around but then suddenly all of them slammed into Naruto's body. As Naruto let out a scream of pure pain and agony. While inside of the mindscape, as QV was taken aback from it, the whole mindscape was reshaping. 
while Naruto was on the ground in, you can say, rolling in pure agony and pain. He could not believe it. Such kind of pain. He has never felt it. He was feeling as if his whole body was breaking down and rebuilding itself and then again breaking down and doing it over and over again. He was screaming in pure pain. While QB simply shook his head, he knows that he cannot interfere even with his chakra. It seems that the Soka Shinigami will actually take care of his healing factor as well. As finally, after some time, as Naruto was now, you can say, surrounded by a light as his eyes was going blank and then opening. And he started to float within the mid-air while inside of Naruto's mind as Naruto was surrounded by black and you can say silver energy all over the place. As he looked around even though his body was feeling dead, his mind was still working. As he looked around several you can say things were being processed by his brain. He was feeling that all of his body has rebuilt itself. He was feeling powerful, the chakra, no, whatever this energy is, it's, you can say, flowing inside of his body, is reshaping it, making it stronger. He has, you can say, a lot of knowledge now and somehow it is increasing even more and more. As Naruto look all around his place as he simply blink once again and his body has surrounded by a shining light and while in the outside, all over Konoha, you can say, Tato Kage as well as Shinobis were doing their own thing. Kakashi was training Sasuke, but then suddenly, all of the, all of a sudden, the whole place started to shook for some reason as black clouds started to surround the area. White lighting was, you can say, cackling in the sky all over the place as Tato Kage finally came out of his office as he looked around as wind was blowing harshly. The windows of his office were breaking. Most of the people of Konoha were panicking at this point. While on the other hand, Kakashi was also wondering what is actually going on here as a feeling of pure dread started to spread all over Konoha. As most of the people were surprised, even Taido Kage was taken aback from it. He was wondering what is going on here. For a moment, he thought that it has to do something with QB, but he simply shook his head. He would have felt the power of the QB as well as the seals he has put over the body of Naruto unknown to him. All those seals became disabled when Orochimaru tampered with the seal but that is not the point here. Well, the seals they have put over Naruto's body would have restrained if Naruto were to you can say release too much of QB's chakra. As well as his other aspects, the seals that were placed over his brain as well as his over body to make him weaken and submissive and make him stupid would have stopped anything and the kid is already too much of a fool to do anything. As Tadu Kage simply shook his head, this has something strange and it seemed that he would need to have a talk with some of his high ranking shinobi such as Jiraiya. After all, he was itching for the information which Minato has yet to send about the training and things like that. While on the other hand, you can say Naruto was floating within the small temple and suddenly the light finally died down inside of it as Naruto was now standing. His body has increased a little bit, well not that much but still noticeably and his hair was a bit longer as his eyes suddenly shot open the inside of blue. They were black and red in the center as he looked towards his hand. And now he had a bit of class. If he so desired, he looked towards all over his body as they speak one word, QB. As inside of the seal, you can say QB was an utter shock. He looked all around, utter, you can say, darkness was present. Within the sky, red moon was shining. As QB, to his surprise, the, you can say, the cage has disappeared. It seemed that there is no need for a seal anymore. Because of Naruto's enormous power, it must have overrided all the seals on Naruto's body that also includes, you can say, include the Shikifujin, the Reaper Death Seal. And you can say, QB simply look around, then he heard the voice of Naruto as it was pretty deep than before. As QB gulped a little, wondering if Naruto would, you can say, take revenge on him for all the suffering which has been put on him by the villagers because of him as he gulped a little as he said yes I am here Naruto as Naruto simply nodded at that as he started to process his mind his mind has so many memories so many techniques so much knowledge the universe he knows about it the demonic realm and the many other realms that are present and the earth 
and several planets, the Utsuki clan and many other races that are present within the universe. As he looked around, he could feel the power that is going through his body. As he looked around, I'm gonna leave this realm for some time, my power is too much. If I were to train here, trying to control it, trying to experiment with my power, I will destroy this nation within a blink of an eye in accident. As cubic gulped a little but nodded nonetheless. If you so desire, Naruto. As Naruto simply nodded at that as he pointed his hand towards a single, you can say, direction as a portal started to get open. As Naruto finally entered within the different dimension and therefore his training has finally began. While on the other hand, Tadu Kage was simply looking towards Konoha, the black thunder has finally disappeared from the sky. For a moment, he was scared as if something bad is gonna happen, but it seemed that nothing is bad gonna happen. But he simply shook his head. He has already given his, you can say, orders to Kakashi, who was more than happy to, you can say, oblige to take Sasuke away to train. He was hoping that Naruto would come here asking for training so that they can put more influence on the kid by using Jiraiya as a, his sensei. Jiraiya has just come back, giving him information about, you can say, the whole ordeal, how the training of the hero children, Manma and Naruko actually going on. And Naruto, the sacrifice, the soul of the Biju has been, after all, will soon enough will, will become one with Naruto and then they will take care of him. While on the other hand, he simply shook his head. That is beside the point. As he looked towards one of his ambu who has just appeared from the window as Thadokage raised an eyebrow. Hmm, where is him? As the ambu simply shook his head, Lord Hokage, me, as well as my whole squad has searched the area, searched the village. He's not in the village. As Thadokage's eyes shot open. What do you mean by that? He's not in the village. As the Ambu girl a little. We have searched everywhere, my lord, but we are unable to find him. As Tadokage growled at that, as he quickly summoned his crystal ball and started to look around. After all, the tracker seal he has put over Naruto's body should be able to let him to see where the kid actually is. But to his frustration, the ball was showing nothing as he grated his tail. As while only then Jiraiya, who has just entered through the window, as he said, Yo, Sensei, as Tadokage looked towards him. I was hoping, where's the damn kid? After all, you're about to send him in my direction so that we can influence him even more by giving him training, right? So, I was waiting for him within the hot bar, but he was not there. As Thadokage simply shook his head, I do not know Jiraiya. As, third, as Jiraiya quickly became serious, what do you mean by that, Sensei? As Thadokage simply shook his head, just as I said, Jiraiya, I do not know where the kid actually is. I have given the orders to Kakashi to take Sasuke away and I was hoping that Naruto will come here or he would be able to find you at the hot spring. But it seemed that he did not go there, not he did, he came here and for some reason the seals are not working on his body. I have a bad feeling about it Jiraiya and Jiraiya greeted his state at that. He was not expecting this but he simply shook his head, don't worry about it sensei. I will find him myself and after that we will see what actually happened to the seals we put over his body when he was just a kid and if some seals are disturbed I will fix them after all. We do not want to disturb the plans which Minato and we carefully made as Tadokage simply nodded at that. While Look towards, you can say, Naruto, as Naruto was simply looking towards the destroyed area as black flames as well as silver flames were surrounding the area as Naruto was floating within the mid-air. His hair has changed into pure, utter dark and white as he was looking all over the place. As he pointed his hand upward and suddenly a pressure came to the earth, slamming it into the ground, shattering the ground all behind him and all over the place. As a black ball of pure energy started to surround Naruto's hand as Naruto released the attack and BOOM! As more destruction was being caused as Naruto was going over thousands and thousands of techniques in his mind as Naruto pointed his hand forward and then suddenly a light filled the area as Naruto was trying to summon the sphere of the death but he was unable to do so at the beginning because of his lack of his control but now he was feeling that he's quite near to summon the weapons of the Shinigami and soon enough he will have them. But he was unable to summon it once again. He grated his state. It seemed that he will require more of his training. As he looked towards his body, it was a lot tougher than it was before. A lot tougher, if he must say. And for some reason, 
he was feeling as if he was no longer aging. Well, at least not aging in a way that human should. But he simply shook his head. Those are the questions for some other time. But at the moment, he would need to take care of something else. As he, you can say, beat his thumb and slam it into the ground. Suddenly, you can say energy surrounded his body. And just like that, a black puff of smoke appeared. And suddenly came the nine tail fox out of his body. As not to look towards his body, just as he thought. His body is a lot stronger than that of a human. Even though he still, you can say, limited to a human body rather than that of the you can say bodies that of the demons or that of the bijus but he simply shook his head as he looked towards QB who was looking around as he was pretty surprised he was not expecting this as Naruto looked towards him hmm. well I already know everything about you part of the Juby, a false demon as QB was taken aback from it but he already knew that this was to be expected after all that Shinigami after all all the knowledge that Shinigami actually possessed now belongs to Naruto. As Naruto simply looked towards him. So I will make you a deal. You and I both know that. At the moment, you do not, you can say, have any chance against me. I'm a lot stronger than you. As QB, even though he was a bit angry, it was an attack to his pride. But he knew to keep his mouth shut. This was no longer the brat he previously was. No, he had the power of the most powerful demon that he has ever seen. A demon who was even powerful than Juby. And trust him when he said he has felt the power of the Juby. He has been a part of it after all. So he simply shook his head. Yes, I'm already aware of it. Naruto, so what do you want from me? Are you gonna let me go? As Naruto simply chuckled, as we said, and what is waiting for you out there in the elemental nation, QB? Tell me, your siblings, they are already sealed. If you were to try to help them, you and I both know that other villages will try to use those very siblings against you. And ultimately, they will be able to seal you away, just like Minato did all those years ago. As not to growl at the name of Minato, the hatred that the Shinigami had from Minato has also added up to that of Naruto's own, thus making him a lot angrier towards the Namakaze. And you and I both know that he will use this opportunity to seal you away, possibly inside of himself, so that he could have the power of yours as well. And other villages will also try their best to get their hands on you. So tell me, I will ask you again, what is waiting for you in the elemental nations? Your siblings are sealed away, people will hunt you down down like an animal to seal you away once again. So, why do you want to be free, huh? As QB was silent for some time, after all, he was sealed away for 100 years, but it was right. What was waiting for him in the elemental nation? Nothing was waiting for him. People will simply call him monster and try to attack him. And after that, they will simply seal him away. When you can say the seal master like Jiraiya, Minato, Kushina are still out there who can use multiple skills to you can say contain him and after that that damn Namakaze will definitely put him inside of himself so that he can use his powers even more. As QB growl at that, as Naruto simply smirk at that, I will make you a deal QB. As QB was a bit surprised and looked towards him, what do you want? As Naruto narrowed his eyes, as QB gulped a little. You will watch your mouth while talking to me. I will not tolerate any, any insolence. As QB simply nodded at that, knowing that this was not the point to show his pride. As Naruto simply looked towards him. Well, the deal is pretty simple. You. I will free you as well as all of your siblings. And after that, I will send you in a, let's just say, in a different dimension. So that you can live your life freely as possible. Away from the humans reach from their grade you will have your siblings so i'm pretty sure that you would not mind seeing human for the rest of your life would you as qb was pretty surprised and shocked for a moment he was thinking that naruto was lying but then he was in a different dimension wasn't he as he look around this place was though not livable for the even for the pijus but then again there are multiple dimensions out there and naruto he has the knowledge of thousands of years they, he will definitely know where they can actually live in peace away from human grade. As he simply thought it for some time, I do, what do you want from me? As Naruto simply smirked at that, nothing. Nothing at all. What is... 
what can actually you give me to begin with the power i have already more than enough of it though it would be the fun to see the look on the faces of others when i summon you as my personal summon hm, that would be quite the scene wouldn't you agree even qb had to chuckle at that very well then if there is something that you want from me i will help you on that and after that, you will fulfill your promise as not to sip your smirk at that. But I want to ask you something. What do you have planned for the human world as not to simply chuckle at that? As I said, well, I will correct the mistake which your father made all those years ago by giving these humans chakra. As QB was taken aback from it, but then again, this was a person who had the knowledge of thousands of years, so he must have known about that as well. As he simply nodded at that, even though a part of himself felt that how he was betraying his father, but then again, his father gave chakra to this human in the hopes that how they will use it to connect themselves and bring it peace to the world. But no, they use it for their own selfish intents, and after that, imprison the children of their own. You can say, of his father and on top of that the very child of you can say him sage of six parts ashura and indra their descendants are the two people who enslaved the biju and used them even hashirama was the one who caught all of them madara used him like a tool for two times so it was more than she you can say fair as he simply looked towards naruto and then he simply nodded at that as i said if you say so as naruto simply smirked at that he already has the knowledge of the whole Akatsuki affair. After all, he did met with the soul of Madara Uchiha when he tried to use the whole, you can say, the ability of a Sharingan to revive himself. That gave the previous Shinigami a small opportunity to enter into this world. Whenever someone cheated that, he had the opportunity to enter into this world. So, he was able to know that he knows all about Orochimaru, the very knowledge Orochimaru actually possessed Danzo, as well as all the Uchiha's who has used the Izanagi to bring themselves back to life. He knows everything about them, their knowledge, their life, their goals, their planning, all of it. So, that was pretty interesting. And now, all that knowledge belongs to Naruto. As Naruto simply looked towards him, well, it seems that I'm gonna have a lot of training, mind being a partner as a sparring match. As QB blink a little, but then smirk at that. Well, I wouldn't mind as Naruto simply smirk at that as he rushed towards QB. As QB also smirk, knowing that he is not gonna win here. But then again, something was telling him that how Naruto is not gonna use all of his power to begin with. As he smirk as well, and rushing towards Naruto as well and now let us have a bit of time skip as third okage was angry he was unable to find naruto in the whole month as well as the jiraiya who was also pretty pissed seeing that how he has to took out took time out of his research to find the little brat and they were unable to do so on top of that which made him pretty angry well the brat will definitely pay when they will find him but at the moment they will have to wait for the whole chunin exam so they were waiting for the whole participant. All the participants were present within the Chunin exam. The stadium was full with audience and all that. As Janma was looking around, as I said, all right, you guys may leave for the participant box because the tournament is gonna begin from here on. As I simply nodded at that, as Janma speak up, all right, Neshi. Yuga and Uzumaki Naruto please enter within the stadium as Neji had an arrogant smirk on his face while he was waiting for the you can say the whole kid as he was smirking inwardly while Janma was looking around wondering where the demon brat actually is while only then third Okage has a frown on his face he was now thinking the worst thing if Orochimaru has gotten his hands on Naruto then it will definitely compromise their whole plan of making Naruto into a weapon and it will not look good for them. They already knew that. Not all that he had a bit of Cubist chakra. Therefore, it will give him advantage. So, they came up with a plan that how Naruto will be sent within the deep squad of Ambu. He will be given the missions that are impossible even for two squads of Ambu. And he will complete them. Thus making Naruto the perfect weapon for the good of Konoha. So, and Minato agreed to the plan. 
wholeheartedly, saying that how he already had two heirs to his clan, the Namakase, as well as the Uzumakis, and Naruto is not as strong as his siblings, so therefore not required for his future plans, saying that Minato believes that he's the child of prophecy, and all the decisions he will ever make in his life are destined. So, he did not care much about it and Jiraiya wholeheartedly agreed that even Tadokage agreed that Minato must be the child of prophecy after having so much power, heroic and being able to kill so many shinobis within the blink of an eye and all that other thing. While far away in the Mount Miyaboku, the elder Toad almost had a heart attack when he felt a enormous surge of power as he was able to calm himself down as he looked towards you can say the Toads. The, you can say, the other sage doors as he said, the whole destiny has changed, the wheel of the destiny are reversing even more, the prize which was, you can say, st stolen away from its rightful owner shall return to it and this world shall know, you can say, the meaning of pain. The time to pay the price for all the deeds that has been done is nearing and it is nearing pretty quickly. While the sage and the toad were pretty surprised, they were wondering what the elder toad is actually talking about as Pa speak up. Could it actually be possible that he has seen another premonition as the other one also nodded at that. This was pretty troubling, they had to inform it to Jiraiya as quick as possible. As they were about to do so but the elder toad speak up, wait. As both of them stop at that, I can already see it. The time for the ones who have wronged thee, you can say the destined one is coming and you will not inform anyone, it is never not our place to, you can say, interfere. As they were pretty surprised at that but they nodded nonetheless as Elder Dog simply shook his head and decided to sleep a little bit while on the other hand Pa and Ma simply looked towards each other as Pa simply gave a small signal to Ma who simply nodded and decided to sneak out of here. They have to inform me to Jiraiya, they simply cannot let this summoner to face something like that. If this, you can say, the new destiny were to come true, then it would be trouble for Jiraiya and for Konoha and they simply cannot allow that to happen even though if they have to disagree with the elder Toad. And that was the main reason they told it Jiraiya the first time the whole prophecy, whole destiny thing to begin with and Jiraiya was more than sure that Minato was that and Pa and Ma also agreed that how talented when Minato showed that how strong he actually was so they decided that how oh, Minato must be the child of destiny so they declared him that. While all that, as while only then, you can say simply Neji was smirking as Janma looked around as he said, well, I'm gonna ask the last time Naruto, Uz but before he could complete the sentence, whole area simply started to shake a little, but then suddenly a small, you can say, typhoon of fire started to surround a small section of the arena as most of the people were surprised when out of the white flames, a person started to step forward as Neji narrowed his eyes as well as Janma, as Naruto was standing there, his whole you can say clothes has already changed, his whole body has black and silver pattern all over his body and you can say his whole attire and clothes as Naruto simply look around while his mane you can say face and structure has also changed a little bit while from the look he's mostly the same just his hair has grown up a little and he was looking pretty powerful uh, but Neji simply scoffed at that as Chenma narrowed his eyes while Tadokage and Jiraiya who was hiding gritted their teeth at that. The kid must have gone through some serious training from the look of it. This was not how it was supposed to be. As Jiraiya simply shook his head, huh, the kid is already weak. He has already gotten the reports about the kid that how he was a dead loss. After all, Tadokage gave the specific orders to all of the academy not to teach the kid anything. And when the time comes so that they can mold him into their perfect weapon who will you can say complete the missions and be a weapon for the good of Konoha of course. As Naruto look around as he was able to sense all the peoples that are present here but Naruto narrowed his eyes when he felt the presence of a you can say a small summon. This was not you can say. Jiraiya summon because he already know everything about Jiraiya no this chakra presence whoever has sent it here was the one who summoned it first this chakra was definitely belonged to that of his so called father as Naruto simply smirk at that it seemed that he wanted to see the fight of the little brat as Naruto closes his eyes he, he already know where that damn Minato already is present 
But his time will come. He just did not want to kill him now. As Naruto closed his eyes, he could feel all the presences within Konoha and his senses started to move forward within the fire country, all over the place, even going forward and forward, far away in the mountain ranges of Kumo and even more far away the place as if Naruto simply smirked at that, the ultimate insult to the, you can say, rock village. It seems that Minato is hiding within the Earth country as Naruto simply almost you could say burst into laughter but he simply shook his head at that. It seemed that Minato was doing a small mission there to make it even weaker as Naruto could already see a small you can say summoning scroll was present there and a small screen was present as Naruto looked all over the place he could already see. See both Minato Kushina and his so called sibling Menma Naruko as Minato was talking to them so he decided to have a small look what they were actually talking about as Minato was looking towards Menma. Menma, do you see that? I have sent a summoning scroll, you can say summoning frog there, toward there. He will see everything and thanks to the connection I have made with a small seal, we will be able to see the Chunin exam as Menma simply scoff of huh, what's good the Chunin exam is when you and I both know that I'm a lot stronger than those weaklings who are participating as Kushin also chuckled. Huh, well of course Menma Kun, you have been trained by both me and as well as Jiraiya and your father, you're a lot stronger than those weaklings as Naruko speak up. Huh, wait mom, did you say that our weakling of a, of a failure of a brother is also participating in it? As Kushina simply chuckled at that, of course, he's also participating but trust me when I say it, he's nothing special as you can see. Naruto simply smirked at that as Naruko said, huh, oh really now, well then. We just want to see him get humiliated after all. We did get a peek of his result card and how he is a dead loss of his academy as Minato laughed. But of course, after all, he's just a failure and nothing more than that. As Naruto gritted his teeth at that, he has heard more than enough of it as he simply snapped his finger. As he simply looked towards Nechi who was glaring towards him. Nechi was already preaching about his fate and things like that while Naruto had his eyes closed so he did not hurt any of it. Even Janma was a bit angry while in the stadium Hiyashi Hyuga was glaring towards Naruto. He was you can say not happy that the brat was insulting him by ignoring Nechi in such a manner. After all Nechi is a Hyuga member and when Hyuga says something you have to listen with attention. As he was glaring towards Naruto, as Naruto simply looked towards Nechi, as he looked towards Genma, do we start? As Genma simply nodded at that, alright, are you both ready? As Nechi nodded at that by glaring towards Naruto, as Naruto had an emotionless face, as he simply nodded at that, as Nechi said, hmm. Alright weakling, you come. But before he could complete a sentence, a face slammed into his face, several people heard a crunch as the nose of Nechi shattered into pieces as Nechi was sent flying into a wall slamming into it breaking it apart as most of the people as there was dead silence in the whole stadium. As Naruto was pretty angry that how you can say his so called father was insulting him especially after looking towards the face of that damn you can say Namakase while far away in the earth country both Minato and Kushina were pointing out that how Nechi is a prodigy and how he's gonna win the match but then suddenly within in front of their eyes you can say their failure of a son and the failure of a brother vanished and a fist slammed into the face of Nechi sending him flying as they were utterly surprised and shocked. Minato narrowed his eyes. Tatokage made him sure, made sure that Naruto was a weakling so that when the time comes, when Jiraiya stepped inside of his life, they would be able to manipulate him and make them make him into the perfect weapon. So what is going on here? Did Jiraiya train him too much? Did he make him too strong? Damn it Jiraiya. He gave him a single mission to just teach him a bit of Cubist Chakra, how to use it and work on his summoning Chutsu so that they can bind him with summoning contract. So if he ever tried to run away, they can actually reverse summon him and therefore it would be a perfect thing to tie him to the village and make him into a perfect obedient weapon who simply cannot leave as 
He gritted his teeth at that. He was hoping that at this point Jiraiya would have done it. But what was he actually thinking? Teaching him Taijutsu's or physical conditioning, something like this. As he simply shook his head, he has to make contact with the third Hokage as quick as possible. As while well, Odin both Jiraiya and third Hokage eyes were wide open, they did not even saw a kid moving. As there was dead silence, but then suddenly Neji started to move from the wall as he greeted his teeth by you can say putting a hand on his you can say um, nose. He looked towards Naruto with as much hatred as he could actually muster as he activated his Byakugan and flinched a little with pain. You, you commoner, you think that you get but before he could even complete his sentence, his face was brutally slammed into the ground as Naruto had a kick, had a foot planted on his face as Naruto once again slammed it on the side of Neji, sending him flying into the opposite wall before Neji could you can say scream at that his face was brutally grabbed as Naruto started to move it all over the wall as most of the people gasped at that. Hua clan was furious at that. They could not believe it. Their prodigy was getting manhandled in a Taichutsu match. It was not possible. How is this even possible? As you can see Jiraiya almost flinched when Naruto let Neji go as Neji's face slammed into the wall, knocking Neji plain out. As there was dead silence in the whole area, arena, as Naruto looked towards Janma and then looked towards Neji, he started to pull out a kunai as Neji, as Janma quickly came to attention. Alright, the match is over. The winner is Naruto Uzumaki. As he looked towards the down farm of the Hyuga, damn it, he had made so much, so many bets that how Hyuga is gonna take out the Uzumaki within 2 minutes or 3 minutes and bets like that. And he has a lot, a lot of money, so he glared towards Naruto with as much hatred as possible. As Naruto simply ignored it and simply started to walk away. As in front of everyone's eyes, he simply blinked away. As Tadokage narrowed his eyes dangerously. This was not going as planned. He has to need a talk with, you can say, the whole Minato as quick as possible and put the seals once again on Naruto's body to make him as weak as possible. They simply cannot have him too strong and they will have to put Jiraiya within his life as quick as possible to mold him into a perfect weapon, not too strong or not too weak as well. So that he could be controlled by Minato when he come back and when Manma become the Hokage, he could be controlled by him as well. He gritted his teeth at that. He will not let his years of hard work go to waste. While in the other hand, Naruko almost gasped when the Hyuga prodigy slammed into a wall so brutally that how his face must have been shattered. Several bones in his face must have been shattered by that attack. Even Manma flinched a little as Kushina glared towards Naruto with as much hatred as she could actually possess. As well as Minato was also pretty surprised and angry at that. How dared that little brat to prove them wrong. That how he was stronger than they actually thought. This was not how it was supposed to be. They simply have to make contact with Jiraiya and make it quick. So Minato decided to summon a toad so that he could actually send his message to Jiraiya as quick as possible. As he looked toward Kushina. Kushina. It seems that we have to go back to Konoha as quick as possible. We simply cannot let our planning to go to waste just like that. As Kushina nodded at that. As she glared towards Naruto. After all, she hated Naruto with passion. He was the one who got kidnapped by the masked man. And he was the reason the Nine Tail got extracted from her. So it was all because of him. All of those deaths. All of it happened because of him. If he was not born, if he was not kidnapped by that masked man, none of it would have happened. So Kushina hated Naruto with passion. Though Naruto did not care whatsoever. So yeah. But hey guys, here I will have this part. Hope you guys enjoyed. For the next part, you guys already know the like goal and the comment goal. So please, if you guys want the next part, please subscribe and comment and follow me on Instagram. So yeah guys, peace.